I'm here to take on the Atomic Wing Challenge. Let's go, Adam! Weighing in at 150,000 Scoville units on the spice chart, one Atomic Wing is hotter than 40 jalapenos. There's no time limit, but to win the bumper sticker prize and get my name on the wall of flame, I have to take down a staggering six wings. Bring it on. Bring you it know on. what time it is, everybody. Adam, here's the bumper sticker challenge. All right? But Adam, before you go and eat them, I need you to sign this, OK? This is the Atomic Chicken Wing Hold Harmless and Indemnification Agreement. I am willing to hold harmless Best Wings USA, Inc. for any acts involved with the ingestion of above-described food product. It's signed. All right. Let's do this. Let's hear it for Adam, guys. Come on, guys. Let's hear it for Adam, all right? Woo! All right. The name of the game is speed on this one. The first bite exploded in my mouth like a flavor firecracker. That's what it feels like. And I knew I had to finish fast. Oh my, oh my. Anywhere that the wing touched my face is burning. Because like hot acid rain, the tears were falling. It's like the seventh circle of hell. One left! One left! One left! be one of the finest showings I've ever seen on the Atomic Wing Challenge here at Quaker Steak and Lube, OK? Good job, brother. Now, you want to know what your reward is? As your reward for eating six of the hottest wings on the entire planet, you get a bumper sticker, buddy. All right? Atomic Wing Survivor, brother. My face is on fire. The back of my tongue is on fire. Wowza. Ugh. I may be in pain. Oh, that's wonderful. But I've won a bumper sticker, my name on the wall of flame, and this is yet another victory for man. Wow, I'm just happy I survived. Should have gone to law school. I'm at Salvador Molly's in Portland, Oregon, pirate paradise of the Pacific Northwest and home to the Great Balls of Fire Challenge. If I can take down all five super spicy habanero fritters, Make you sweat with a red hot fritter. plus an entire dish of the even spicier habanero salsa in under five minutes, I'll get my picture on the wall of flame. Sounds simple, but a full batch of batter and salsa contains over 10 pounds of habaneros, and each individual habanero is 40 times hotter than one jalapeno. Are you feeling? Thing. Adam, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have a great ball of fire challenge. Ready? Always been. Set? Yeah! Go! <laughs> it's hot, but it's totally pleasurable. All the spices that we saw in that in the kitchen, unbelievable. Now, the salsa is really hot, so I'm gonna add it in sparingly throughout the whole thing. It would take Adam a cast iron colon to get through those five balls of fire. I think Adam's got this in the bag tonight. I don't know. I had one bite and I couldn't handle it, so I'm doubtful. With two fritters down, the habanero firestorm is in full effect. Wow! I'm, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I swallowed, you know, a porcupine. But I fought fiery infernos before. So now, when the temperature rises, so does my courage. That's right. What's your time at? 
two and a half minutes? I covered the final fritter in the remaining salsa and counted down. Five, four, three, two, one. Two victory. I had salsa on my hands and I clapped. I was shot in the eye by an errant piece of salsa. Oh, me and my arrogance. In the battle of man versus food, that the Great Balls of Fire challenge goes down for a win for man. I met Orochan Ramen in Los Angeles, taking on the special number two Red Hot Ramen Challenge. Over 20,000 people have tried to finish these molten noodles in under a half hour, but only a few hundred have succeeded. Taking the challenge beside me are two professional fire dancers. Seven minutes in, and I am still going strong. He's an animal over there, look at him. How you doing, you're starting to sweat. <laughs> it's more a reaction to Serena Serpentina yeah. than this hoop. There's a lot of exposed midriff going on to my right. <laughs> my lips are so hot. Oh know. really? I'm just saying. Screw the challenge. So the noodles are all but gone. I'm rocking some sprouts here, some peppers and stuff, and this is actually proving a little bit infuriating. I'm just really trying to wait until the very end to tilt this bad boy back and knock all the lava into my face. This is definitely, without a doubt, the hottest thing I've ever eaten. Yeah, I feel the lips swelling, the tears rolling, the belly's definitely warm. I have that effect on women. Oh! I think you should drink some milk. OK. <laughs> I will. Well, I'm avoiding the milk till absolutely necessary. 15 minutes left. <laughs> My time is half up, and I'm faced with the toughest part of the challenge, the fiery broth. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. I feel like I need to just suck some back. Hello. 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 This is what separates the men from the boys and my interior stomach lining with the rest of my stomach. Woo! He's got him pounded. I've seen him before do the food challenges. He can do it. Go, Anna! Go, Anna! Ten more minutes. He's crying. My face is on fire, and my stomach feels like a nuclear reactor in meltdown. And while my two compatriots have all but given up, I will not be deterred. All that stands between me and the wall of bravery is one final gulp. I place the bowl against my lips. I tilt my head back, and I let the last scalding drops slide down my throat. And now why 20,000 have tried and only a few hundred have succeeded. And you know, when you win a victory like this, you wonder, did I actually only win the battle and will the ramen win the war? <laughs> and tonight, in the restroom, I'll know the answer to that question. <laughs> I'm at Brick Lane in New York City, tackling the Fall Curry Challenge, the spiciest Indian curry this side of the Atlantic. Whoa! Okay. The heat is so intense, it takes a gas mask to cook it, and nine out of 10 people can't even finish the bowl. I'm just a few bites in and already fearing the fall. It's hot. I feel it in my lips, I feel it in my mouth. Very chilly, despite its heat, is a really unique flavor. The thing is, there's so much of it, it's kind of unrelenting. But I'm not letting these fiery chilies beat me, so I start mixing in some rice to cool the curry. All the chicken is down, now comes the rough part. It's all the sauce. My lips are burning, my Ooh. eyes are watering, but I I feel that it's good. My metabolism is up, so the calories from this meal are diminished. How do I compare to other people that have tried? Uh, much better, I would say. I think the key was you just didn't stop. You just went on and on and on. I'm determined to finish the fall. 
But then I make a truly painful mistake. You know what? I just realized I did something very stupid. The napkin I've been wiping my mouth with, I wipe my face. Oh. My face oh. is on fire right now, right here. <laughs> My face is on fire, fire. But with my skin sizzling and the crowd chanting, I tame the incendiary ingredients and reach my final bite. Hey, he's got one more bite! <laughs> this last bite of rocket fuel, I dedicate to all of you for your support. Yeah. And this is the most fiery of all curry challenges. I salute you, I salute you, and I eat you. I've defeated the foul challenge. And my prize, an ice-cold Indian beer. My free beer? A curry free certificate beer. of completion. Certificate. And you guys spell my name right. And the adoration of the masses. Everybody, Hellfire Challenge. <laughs> But I should have been terrified. Because one order of Smoke Eater's Hellfire Wings contains more than six ounces of dried habaneros, making this sauce so red hot that out of the 9,000 people who've tried it, only 20% have succeeded. Naturally, what followed was nothing but pure white hot pain. 12 wings, 10 minutes or less. Nothing to eat or drink. You got no napkins. Yeah, I can see that. After you finish your 12th wing, five minute waiting period starts. But before that starts, any sauce on your hands, you gotta put them in your mouth and lick them clean, each one. And like a fool, I began. The spice immediately rendered me speechless. With six wings down, the sauce flowed like lava over my face and hands. And with no napkins, the longer it sits, the deeper it burns. I don't think it's gonna make it blunt. I wouldn't eat them, I'll say that. As the inferno raged, I reached the last wing. Last one, last one. Let's go. Adam, you're my hero! But the worst was yet to come. He's gotta do his fingers. finger was like licking fire, but then the torture really began. Five minutes of waiting. No relief, only time. Time and temptation. Napkin? <laughs> With nothing to soothe my molten mouth, I drifted to the very brink of unconsciousness. 45 seconds! The battle was won, but the fire raged on. I'm like a towel. A wet towel. Uh, an incredible time here, but my face is on fire! In the battle of man versus food, today at Smoke Eaters, man won! Milk, beer, not even the glorious wave of victory could extinguish the hellfire. And that's how I ended up here. Holy Praying the cool night air would soothe my face. 
Those last five minutes almost kill me. Breathing, just moving all those spices around, they're still in between my knuckles. I won the T-shirt and my photo on the wall.